In this video, we'll work through how to add a scale bar to an image uh, using Microsoft PowerPoint. You can see here that we've got an image of Ageria. Uh, this is the Ageria epidermis taken using a 40 times objective lens, which means a 400 times overall magnification. And it's been imported into PowerPoint and we've drawn a scale bar over here which represents the size of features in the image. To start with, we need to consider what the camera sees through the microscope and what our eyes see through the microscope. This is slightly different and each of these views is called a field of view. Here we have a representative image which has been captured using the four times objective lens. What you can see here is uh, this circle represents what you see through the oculars using your eyes. This distance here is actually 5000 micrometers which is also known as 5 millimeters. This is using the four times objective. What you'll notice here is that if you're using the SD card to capture an image or if you're using uh, the software to capture an image, the software or the SD card actually captures a subset of this entire field of view. The actual space that the SD card captures is represented by this rectangle here. If you're using the software, you're capturing an even smaller field. For example, at four times, what the software is capturing is this distance here, or the image in this rectangle. This distance actually represents 3000 micrometers, which is equivalent to 3 millimeters. What you can see is that uh, the camera doesn't see everything that you see. At different magnifications, this is also true. For example, using the 10 times objective, what the camera sees are these rectangles, depending on if you're using the SD card or the software to capture the image, versus what you see through the oculus, which is represented by the circle. This is 10 times, and this is 40 times. The camera is seeing a bit less than what you can see, just because of the optics of the way the camera is set up. These distances have actually been measured for you already. In the appendix of your lab manual, you'll have a, a few images which represent the size of these fields of view. It's a good idea to go through them now. Let's go through now how to add an image to PowerPoint and then add a scale bar to this image. I've got an image on my desktop which I'm going to drag into the PowerPoint window. Here it is. This is an image of Ageria captured using the 40 times objective. By grabbing the handles on the corners, I can shrink this image down such that it fits into uh, my slide. It doesn't actually matter at this point what size the image is, we can make it really small or really large. The important thing here is that I know that this image has been captured using the 40 times objective using the Motix software, which means that if we flick back to this image, we can say that our image essentially represents this field of view. And we know that this field of view the width of this field of view is 300 micrometers, which is equivalent to 0 0.3 millimeters. This means that back in our image, we can confidently say that because this image was captured using the 40 times objective using the software, the width of our image, or the field of view that our image represents, is actually 300 micrometers wide and 225 micrometers high. This means that for us to draw a scale bar, we just need to know the calculation between the width of the real image versus the width of the image on our computer. To find out the width of the image, in PowerPoint, click on the image, and then come up here to the Format tab. There's two boxes here which represent the height and also the width of your image. Now we know that our image on the slide is 21.04 centimeters wide. Let's write this down. 21.04 centimeters is the image width. We know that because this image was captured at the 40 times objective, this width is cor corresponds to 300 micrometers. This is the real size. Now, our scale bar will take up a small proportion of this width. 
let's say 1 sixth. I say 1 sixth because 300 divided by 6 is 50 and that's a really nice number to use. Now if we divide the right side by 50 we have to divide the left side by 50 as well. Whoops. So if we divide 21.04 by 6 that comes out to be 3.507 centimeters. This means that to represent a width of 50 micrometers we need to make this bar 3.507 centi uh, centimeters long. To draw an actual scale bar onto PowerPoint, let's come up here to the Insert tab. Let's go to Shapes and Insert a Line. To insert a straight line, hold down the Shift button on your keyboard while you draw the line. It doesn't actually matter how long this line is because we'll be adjusting it later. Now, what we need to do is adjust this line width to match uh, the calculation we had before, which ended up saying 50 micrometers was equivalent to 3.507 centimeters. So we can select the line, come up here to the Format tab, come up here to the width of the line and type in 3.507 and press Enter. This line now represents a 50 micron length in our image. The next thing we do is just a few formatting issues for this line. For example, we can make this line white to make it a bit more visible. To do that, you come up to the Shape Outline, select white, and let's make it a bit thicker as well. Here's a nice scale bar. The next thing we need to do is actually indicate how long this scale bar is. One way to do this is actually to insert the length and type it on top of the scale bar. To do that, come up to the Insert tab and then insert a text box. Click on the text box, click somewhere in your slide, and then let's type 50 micrometers. Because we're going to be positioning this text over the scale bar in the image, Let's make this text white, so it's a bit easier to see. The font currently is a bit small, so let's just enlarge this a bit. And here we have a labeled scale bar, which is the perfect size for this image. Just to recap, what we've considered here is that using the 40 times objective and using the software to capture the image, our actual image represented this uh, much of the field of view. Now the size of this was actually, or the width of this was 300 micrometers. And then we've taken this, this, uh, this consideration down to our actual image and we've said also, okay, the size or the width of our image is 300 micrometers, which means that we've drawn a scale bar which is one-sixth of the width of the image, and we've called that scale bar 50 micrometers. So that's how to add a scale bar onto your image using Microsoft PowerPoint. The main thing to keep in mind is that at four times, at 10 times, and at, 20, at 40 times objectives, you need to have different measurements for the width and height of your image based on the actual magnification of the microscope. Thanks for watching.